Hi everyone, it's the Piggy Hub here. Finally back with a new video for you. Really sorry, it's been such a long time. I've had loads on in the past couple of weeks and I've been really unwell the last couple of days as well so I haven't been able to make a video for you. But I'm back and hope the wait was worth it. So I've got a few new things to go through with you. The piggies are in my room for the next couple of weeks. Um, they're usually in my brother's room, but he's back from university for the next two or three weeks. So the piggies have been moved into my room for the time being. So both pairs of piggies are in a two by four cage. So they've all got exactly the same amount of room. So here is Gibson. They're in a corner cage, so Gibson Badger. Badger is hiding away in his hidey house at the moment, having snooze. It's the afternoon, so they're all a little bit tired. They're all just waking up from their nap. So here's Gibbs. <laughs> and in this cage over here, we've got Stanley and Monty. And they're also in a 2x4 as well. Um, I've had to create them in different shapes so that they could just fit around my bed. Um, I do have quite a small room and I've got so much in here so uh, finding the space was really hard but I've managed to just about fit them in and um, I didn't want to sacrifice any room for them so I've given them the biggest possible cages they can. But a 2 by 4 is the average size for a cage for two guinea pigs so they've got plenty of room and then of course they also have their floor time as well. So they're both down on fleece and they're absolutely loving it. They really do like the fleece rather than the bedding. And yeah, they're all having a little wander around. So here they are. Let me come down and see Gibson. Gibson! There he is. Hello, Mr. Gibson. Oh, he's so cute. I've literally just cleaned them out um, about two hours ago, I think. I did a spot check. And look at the mess already. Look at all of these poops. Look at all of these poops, Mr. Gibson. You are a messy piggy, aren't you? Messy, messy piggy. I do not even want to look under the hidey house. That is a no-go zone. <laughs> and here's Monty over here. And Stanley is down at the end of the tube down there. So as you can see, these are two absolute separate cages. So they don't share the same wall by here. There's two separate cages. And I've placed fleece and towels over so that the peggies cannot get to each other at all. They cannot see each other. I don't think they can smell each other. It's quite thick. There's about two layers on each side. So there's no way they can get to each other. They don't seem to realize there's piggies on the other side of the walls. So that's absolutely fine because I was a little bit worried about that because they're usually stacked on top of each other rather than next to each other. So I was a little concerned that it might cause some arguments. They might be able to hear and smell each other. But it seems to be absolutely fine. So they've been in here just over a day now. And everything is really good. I love having them in the room with me. I definitely get to bond with them a lot more. And um, they do come out a lot more. And they're a lot more confident in here. So that's brilliant. So they've got all the normal things that they usually have in their cage. They've got their hay rack. And they also have their litter tray. The reason I've put this down is because I hate it when hay goes all over the fleece. As you can see, some is already tracked onto there. But it's really good at mostly keeping it manageable and under control. So that's the reason that's there. They hop in and out of it. They also tend to go to pee in it, as you can see. So that's really good. So they don't get the fleece all smelly. So that's brilliant. And then obviously they have their tubes. They have their shoes. They have their bowl of pellets their water bottles and then they have a few little hidey houses as well. Same with these guys down here, they also have their hay rack, their litter tray, tube, their pallets, igloos and some little chewy things and some tunnels. So they've all got lots to keep them entertained. Gibson's going to come over and have a little bite to eat. <laughs> Such a cute piggy, yes everything is going along absolutely fine. Stanley and Monty still have their little moments. They have definitely been having a few moments since they've been moved in here. Stanley is asserting his dominance and is being very, very bossy. And um, rumbling a lot and mounting Monty. But I think that will start to calm down a little bit in a few days or so. It's just because they're in a new environment. There's new smells. Different cage, different room. So he might do it now, actually. 
<laughs> He's been mounting Monty. Oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. Sorry about that, guys. Be back in a sec. Just gonna answer it. Sorry about that, guys. It was just my boyfriend. Just ringing to see how I was, because I haven't been very well. So, Mr. Gibbsy over here, I don't know where Badgie is. He's having a sleep inside his igloo. Go on, Gibbs, go and get him. Go on. Go and get him. Oh, look at all that mess. The only thing I don't like about fleece, one of the few little niggles I have about it, is that you can see all the poops and everything. With the bedding, it can kind of blend into it, but with the fleece, you see everything. You see every little bit of poop, every little bit of hay. <laughs> and it is something that really annoys me. I'm a little bit of a neat freak, so I do spot check it every day. Whenever I fleece, I always spot check it because it just really gets on my nerves. And it looks really untidy as well because it's such pretty fleece as well. So, anyways, Mr. Stanley. Oh, rumbly, rumbly, bossy boy. So, yes, these are the cages. Now, the piggies aren't going to be in these for long. This is just temporary as I am getting the piggies a brand new hatch. Um, I've been finding that the double stack CNC cages are a little bit of a hassle to take down and put up. And um, they're also not very stable either. Um, the amount of times I've walked past them when I've been cleaning them or getting the piggies in and out and I've accidentally knocked it and um, the connectors have fallen off and literally half of the cage has fallen apart. It's been really unstable and I'm just a little bit nervous about it. So, I'm getting the piggies this. It's a double stacked hutch. So it's basically the same thing, but it's a hutch. So it is six foot in length, so it's exactly the same size as a two by five cage, which is a really good size for two piggies. And um, it's got a little sleeping area down here, and it's got a nice long area for them to run around in. So this is Bespoke. I'm buying this from a company called Thumper's Rabbits. Um, they are based in Somerset and they make bespoke um, hutches, cages, chicken coops, um, kennels for dogs. They make all sorts of things. So I'm going to pick that up on Saturday. So I'm really excited about that. So it's lovely and big, lovely and warm for them as well. And then I can take them out in the summer and put them out on the grass in it as well and build um, the CNC cage grids round, put a ramp in, and then they can run in and out of the hutch, whoever's in the bottom hutch, and switch them over. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then put it inside um, during the night time. So I'm really, really excited. Um, it took him two and a half weeks to build. And I think it was about £175 which I think is a brilliant deal. Um, they're really good quality. Um, pet shop cages and hutches I'm not a big fan of. I have bought a pet shop um, little run in the past, one that you can put out on the grass, and it fell apart within a couple of months. It was terrible. All the little, um, these things by here, the little clasps that you twist to lock and close the little doors, they all fell off. Um, and it r went rotten because it had been out on the grass. It was rubbish, absolutely rubbish. So I was just looking through lots of different websites, trying to find um, someone who built bespoke um, hutches, and I found this company. So I'm really happy with that. So if you are interested, this is their Facebook page. They're called Thumpers Rabbits, and they're based in Somerset. So it's a bit of a drive for me. Um, I was going to get it delivered, but it was about £50 delivery. And I live in quite a rural area, so I was a bit worried that they wouldn't be able to find me. So I'm going to go up and pick it up. It's about an hour and a half journey, but it will cost less for me to drive there and back than for them to deliver it to me. So he's going to take it apart. Here we go. This is just a few other pictures of it. This is not the exact one that I'm getting. Um, this is just an example, but this is what it's pretty much going to look like. So, really pleased. <laughs> Sorry, you could see my face in the reflection. There we go again. So, just lots of different views. And they build all sorts of things. If you go on the Facebook page, they've got loads and loads of different products that they make. So, I'm really excited about that. So, I hope they like it. So, it's going to be definitely very different for them. But it's going to be lovely and warm and cosy in there for them and really spacious. It, as I said, it's six foot in length, two foot in width. 
so it's really big. It's pretty much the same size as a 2x5 cage. This is a 2x4 by here, so it's an added two grids. So if you think about that, look how long that is. It's a really, really nice long cage. And they're both going to have exactly the same amount of space, and it's just going to be a lot easier for me to move it around rather than having to unclip and undo all of these grids especially the double stacked ones took absolutely ages especially to put back together again and my brother comes home in the summer he comes home for Easter so taking down that cage and putting it back up that many times it is infuriating so a hutch will be a lot easier I could just move it around it I don't think they're very heavy either and um, very heavy either so It'll be a lot easier to move around, I hope. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I've always got my CNC grids as a backup. And of course, I will still use this, these as runs out on the garden, also in the house when they're having floor time. So they will not go to waste. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I like trying new things and uh, experimenting. So really excited about that. So yes, that's about it. Let me come around here and get a a view from over here so I've got to walk over my bed as you can see it is a really big squish in my room so yeah I'm going to put the hutch down this wall so I, it will take up a lot less room but it, it's fitting pretty snugly there I'm quite pleased with that really and they both have the exact same amount of room so I'm really pleased about that I really didn't want to sacrifice them having having the room because it's really important that they have lots of space to run around so as you can see Stanley and Monty are now snoozing down so I think I'm going to leave them to it now and let them have a little snooze because they're all getting very tired so thank you all for watching sorry it took so long I promise you the videos will be a lot more regular from now on I'll do an update video when I have the hutch and then um, show you what it's like and do a little tour so Thank you guys and see you soon. Bye.